of innovative planning, and it revolves around planning any particular item, event, session, or function. And the time is five, six, seven minutes, Mr. Timekeeper. I ask you to please help me to the topic, music, the sweet sound of success, Ndumiso Nkonzo. Ndumiso Nkonzo, music, the sweet sound of success. take you back a few weeks ago when I stood up here and I told you that we were going to organize what we called an open house. It is the 30th of April 2019. You sitting here as usual as you would normally attend the Toastmasters meetings. Then you realize that guests, visitors, are starting to pour in. The room is getting fuller and fuller. <clears throat> Suddenly there is no space to sit. We have to start adding tables and chairs on the side. Then the program starts. In no time, Will Parker is called onto the podium. He has requested that the lectern must be put here. He leans on the lectern as he speaks. He realize that next to him there is a, an object covered in what used to be, as you notice it, what used to be a white cloth. But as you look closer, you realize, no, man, that's not a, a, a normal cloth but it is a diaper, it is a, a, a napkin. Then you wonder what is Will Barker next to now? What is he up to? Then as he speaks, he pulls off the cloth, then he pulls up this blue object, and then you realize, no, no, no. <coughs> this is a potty. What, what, what is this guy in a, in, a, in, a, in a suit going to do with a coach in a Toastmasters meeting? <laughs> then he, he describes, tells you a story of what happened when he was in Bloemfontein. He's driving, then the kids need to, 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 to help themselves, they are not want to stop. Then he, he gives them the, the, the potty to help themselves, then he takes this potty, then he throws, that, throws it outside the window, but the content of the potty comes inside and they go on the, on the windscreen, the wipers, wipe the content, you say, well, Parker, that, that's disgusting. And I could hear Ian Flinders was sitting there thinking, that's why he's so full of it. <laughs> But he comes here, he, he does the unthinkable. He starts singing. <laughs> he then says, no, that's not how they do it. As he sings, he says, no, but that's not how, that, that's not how it is. That's not how they do it. He does this three times. Then you wonder, why is this guy doing this instead of just speaking? Because he's a good speaker. As you listen and pay attention to him, he starts speaking. Now, the audience, everyone is eating on the palm of his hands. He's in, he's in control of what is going on in this room. Whilst you're thinking about, whilst you watching Andrew thinking about that, you interrupt yourself. I wonder how did they 
organizers of this event do it. Now let me tell you what makes up a successful project as we did it. We organized a team. Now when you're organizing a team, you need people to commit their most precious resource. You need them to commit their time. So you need people that number one are committed and number two they are passionate about what they are doing because you need a cohesive team so that when you, as you push and pull you all pull together you also need leadership within that team you need 100% commitment from the leadership because if leadership is not committed then nothing is is really going to happen because you can invite people to come to your event but if the leadership and the team is not prepared then those people that will come they will come here and they do not really enjoy themselves you also need a vision you more people must know what what is it that you're trying to achieve now there is a few things that i learned from the project Oh, but I will mention only two, two things. Number one is that Toastmasters is a, an, a, what I would call an underground university. In Toastmasters you learn a lot of skills. Things that you may really never thought that you, you might learn. For instance, in the project I learned um, the PR skills, being out there and publicizing the event. I needed to create the adverts and I did not know how to do that and the, the Toastmasters family was available to, to assist. Whenever I needed help, I just shouted out there and then people were, were, were available to assist. The only challenge in that project was our PR manager. <laughs> Maybe I must just say now the former PR manager. Because every time when I try to be creative, you will say, no, 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 but that color is not approved. <laughs> that color scheme has not been approved, so I have to change now what I had uh, uh, decided on doing. Secondly, what I've learned is that Toastmaster is a big family of skilled individuals that are always willing to help. In that night when we agreed on the, on the project, I called on Andrew to assist, and on the same night he agreed to assist. The, Following morning, we had discussions about the, the, the nature of the event and the people that we wanted to invite. We had a long discussion about who was going to give a humorous speech. Lots of names were thrown around to say, no, let's go there, let's go outside the club, let's have a discussion and get someone. And then someone mentioned the name of Will Barker. And then we said, no, 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 you can't, you can't select Will Parker. Number one is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, and most important, is going to embarrass the club. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he did exactly <laughs> that here and talked about that thing. <laughs> what we did not plan in our program was an evaluation. We said we we did not want to have a speech that was going to be evaluated. But again, thanks to Will Parker, we, we got an email from the president to say, someone's girlfriend will be coming to do an evaluation. But we said, we don't have a, 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 an evaluation for, a, a position for an evaluator. We want, we just want a different event. He said, no, no, no. He has spoken, he's a buffalo, so he has to be done. So, Lynette van der Bart was, Lynette was here and she also helped going back to the big family with lots of skills. She had to do an evaluation. We called on Tebu Kochaga to come and give the speech. Now, the success of this project that we, 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 we did is testament to the fact that when two or three agree on a common purpose, common purpose, nothing is impossible. 
Behind this project, there was the club members, there was a whole uh, postmaster's family that we are grateful for. Now, how do I know that this project was a success? When Andrew attempted to sing and he could not sing, <laughs> the president knew that he could do, he has to do something. Then he stood up here, within a few seconds, he got 27, this room full of people singing a song that they have not really practiced. <laughs> we did it. That's how I know that we conquered and the project was successful. Music is always a, a sweet sound of success. Mr. Tosman.